Okay, so you can probably gather that uh, by all the engine stuff we've got out here. We're building some engines, aren't we? Some very, very special engines, and uh, we're just scattering around at stuff to do while we're still waiting for some bits to come back before we can actually fully assemble the engines. And we've kind of decided to take a look at uh, the sump baffle. Now, we kind of cheaped out. We went for- I wouldn't say cheaped out. I think we were expecting something, uh, yeah, something I, else. I, I think we was, were we was expecting a bit more product. But then again, we've looked at how much we spent and I thought, I think, you know. Anyway, so this is a baffle. A uh, welding baffle for the K20, which, as we've just discovered, you can buy from about 40 different places. <laughs> it's just the exact same kit where you weld in all these bits and bobs into the sump. Now, on the other hand, we have one of these jobbies. I think this is a clockwise, or this is... Uh... Sump 2, it says on the side, look. Oh yeah, anyways, it's, it's, I think it's whoever, the same, same, they same both copied one, one another. This is what I'm running on my current engine and I think it works fine. But obviously this is a bit more elaborate with all the trap doors and everything. Yeah. And this thing is a drop in and it goes in like that. So you can see the difference between this where you have all the trap doors and the plate that simply goes on top with a few welding places. So what me and Eden thought, instead of losing this completely and buying this we can. Well, the problem people have with these is that the uh, the baffles actually hydraulic well they, they sort of stick themselves look, shut you can actually, with yeah. the oil so there you are look, so, you know it's upside down and it, and it sort of sticks and that prevents the oil flow yeah. in and out of the baffle which still needs to happen for the baffle to work and if that baffle is stuck shut oil is not going to flow into the baffle so that's one of the known problems with these as well as all these pins keep popping out so we've kind of come to the conclusion we're going to make our own hybrid so we're still going to utilize this plate like so with all these welding bits and bobs but we're going to add an additional part which we're going to take as yeah sort of like a I, form. I already sort of traced because obviously yeah. we know this fits it's the, the contour, profile the, the contour of the thing so in essence we're gonna laser cut well plasma cut using the extreme plasma product placement um so yeah two plates like that that are gonna weld and sit underneath this plate and Eden has, because here obviously on his website he produces baffles for, yeah, we baffles for the XR. XR. So he has those sort of versions yeah, of we the have, trap we, doors. We, we, I, I use rubber Viton flaps instead of these aluminium trap doors. So we will be able to utilize those. So in yeah. essence, all we need is two plates like that that will be welded in there. Then we'll put the trap doors that you have and then they will be welded like that. And then this thing goes on top like that. And it's a hybrid, hybrid between a simple yeah. play design. We're, 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 gonna get the best, we're gonna get the best of both worlds. I think we're so. gonna get the oil containment of this plate, and then we're gonna get the oil control of the baffle with the trap doors and At such. the fraction of the cost, and for your added benefit of doing the content, rather than just getting something off the yeah. shelf, boom, done, fitted. So, so yeah, we're gonna design the, the plates that need to go in. And then we're going to plasma cut them, assemble them, and then we're going to get this sump welded up. And You're doing it. the welding now. Yeah, I'm doing the welding, no shit. Uh, so yeah, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cheat, is we're going to take this baffle apart. You can see Rusky's already marked this line here. So essentially we need to just scan this in the printer, copy this, and then cut it, weld it in. Dead simple job. Twice. Twice. Well, I want, so I got my sump ready. So we're doing yours today. Okay. We're doing one today. Well, we'll cut both of them there. So anyways, yeah.
grand reveal. So yeah, this come out all right on the plasma from some two mil alley plates. Uh, spent a bit of a while to deburr them quite a bit. It's a bit of dross, plasma dross on the old aluminium. But yeah, they're gonna sit in roughly about there and then the top plate goes on like so and then we get the best of both worlds so we ah, get ah, okay. oh, what are we allowed to show the fancy things oh yeah so uh Ilya's gonna play my flaps and uh yeah so just pull it hey, you don't bend the plate pull it pull it pull it it's okay it's fine it's yeah. for the for the purpose so we have a little flap and ping 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 so the oil can go this way and then it cannot really go well it can under pressure but it, that's the whole point of them yeah. they basically restrict the airflow so it's a it's a one-way valve essentially you know so we kind of we we keeping we're trying to keep as much oil in the center because this is where your oil pump sits roughly like this so you want the oil to be in here, that's why you put those um, trap doors on, on this side. So when you're cornering, the oil doesn't really want to sort of exit this, this chamber. This chamber is the priority, so we need to keep as much oil in there as possible. So I'm actually quite surprised that this kit didn't come with this um, as a no. get-go. I mean, I know we found a few online. I think this kit was 64 quid. Yeah. Something like that. But I mean, how much extra would be another two plates than that, really? Uh, yeah, not a lot. So I'm just just a little bit surprised because it's not that much more welding involved. It's literally like three, four tacks here and there, and uh, you have a proper proper buffer sum. So you know what? I think we actually saved quite a bit because obviously those sums from clockwise motion or whatever. Two hundred sixty quid. Two hundred sixty quid, and we essentially, I mean, this we can clearly call cost nothing to us, really. A bit no, of plate we didn't so, it's probably two or three quid there. Yeah, so that's nothing. So in, in essence, this thing is what sixty-five quid. Yeah, a proper proper buff. So, hmm. All right, get welded in. Get welded in. Okay, so that's the, the sump all welded up and uh, hopefully you've got a bit of a better idea of what we've tried to achieve today. Obviously we have welded in all the extra bits that come apart as this kit. Even though I think we've made all these bits here redundant by putting this plate in here. Probably. Probably. But we've done it now. Yeah, but like you say, they serve a different purpose. They serve for the pump to sit inside so it doesn't actually go into the gear or whatnot. So yeah. they're kind of blocking. They don't actually serve the purpose of retaining oil where we need it to be. I think they're just blocking whatever they're blocking. Anyways, it came with the kit, so you put them in. But um, yeah, those, those two plates, I think they're gonna make a world of difference because like I say, you need to contain all the oil in here and just having this top plate, I don't think personally it's, it's it's no. enough to do I mean, anything. It's there just was, I think I think it was the Toda one, and the Toda one just has like an outline around here. Yeah. It doesn't have anything else. Literally yeah. just the outline. Yeah. So I think what we've done here is a cross between obviously the welding baffle, and like I say, the clockwise skunk to yeah. copy. So we've got the best of both worlds. So at the fraction of the cost. At a fraction of the yeah. cost. Yeah. Fraction of the cost. Yeah. And for those people wondering, obviously these these are Viton oil seals, so they do have uh, they do have a service life. If you fail to change your oil, so the oil gets dirty, contaminated, and poor quality, it will start to deteriorate those flaps. 
Um, not such a big problem on a race not, car. Not, 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 yeah, on a race car, not such a big problem. Up, on a road yeah. car, providing you're sticking to 10,000 mile service limits or 5,000, you're going to be fine. But if you leave it in there for 100,000 miles, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're not going to like that. So that's just to sort of put that to bed when it comes to these flaps. We use them in our, in our Z20 VXR uh, baffle kits for years now. And um, we've had engines torn apart after 15, 20,000 miles. And again, because they've been have they've gone through a good service life, they haven't deteriorated and they've not started to fall to pieces. So, but yeah, with with our racing, we tend to change oil every two races, two or three, at, at least twice a season, which is yeah. yeah so, but yeah. that's your sum. Are you happy? I'm very happy. The, the only thing left is the oil drain the from the turbo. Oil drain. Um, yeah, we'll put that in here, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that this week for you. Yeah. I mean, but it would be nice if it was here. I need to check. I'll send you a picture, picture of the, of the current anyway. one. Because, like I said, because of my line, it, it might be too short. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, it could be okay. But okay. overall, very happy with this thing. Say thank you very much for all the handiwork. Now you just have to do it one more time for your own. Yeah, I'm going to replicate the exact same thing we've done here with uh, my K20 sump. And then hopefully next time we see the sump, we will hopefully be, be building bad boys. the two monster K24 engines. His and hers. His and hers. Obviously, I'm not going to show you much in this video because we've had some pretty tri trick work done to these blocks of the heads. And we're going to do a dedicated video on that. It's just we thought, well, we've got Rusky here today and this sun probably started to, I don't know, brainwave. We yeah, we're just to like, oh, let's have a look what we have. We yeah. just dropped it in and was like, uh, that's not really going to work. Let's modify it. No, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and nice short video. So uh, if you've got any sort of input of what we've done is wrong or bad, drop a comment down below. And um, yeah, we because can Because chances are when this video comes out, they are not going to be engines fully ready, so you we will have time to change it if yeah. this is I don't something. Think, I personally no. don't think we're going to change a thing. Well, because we, we've done our research. It, it's it, 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 it's not like we've reinvented the bloody America no. or whatever. No, you no, know, no, it, no, it's been not. done. We just basically made, made a hybrid. We combined whatever kits we've seen before, and it's totally going to work. So, um, yeah, it's perfect. Sweet. All right, I'll, I'll put it into my pile of bits. Put it into your pile. Uh, and that being said, short video, and uh, don't forget to like, join, and subscribe. Subscribe to his channel, link in the description, Hi. and we'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye.